Hey guys, welcome back to another Should You Buy here. Today we are taking a look at one of the newer Harry Potter 2019 sets. Here we have set number 75948, the Hogwarts Clock Tower. Now this set is not released here in the US until July 1st. However, if you are overseas, you'll have access to this guy already. Now on the front of the box here, we have some really, really cool box art, obviously of the build itself, the clock tower and all the cool details. The minifigures include Madame Maxine, Albus Dumbledore, Victor Crumb, Cedric Diggory, Flor Delacour, Ron, Harry, and Hermione. So lots of really great minifigures. In fact, this is definitely going to be one of the best sets for minifigures in this new wave. Top of the box here, we just have more of the minifigures. Then we have a one-to-one -one scale of the Hagrid guy. Now on the back, we have some more play features and more animations about the interior of the castle. For example, a clock winding wheel. On the bottom here, we have a little bit of a dance floor. And then just some more really cool art for the rest of the box, depicting all the cool details and awesome stuff that is coming with this set. Now the interior of this castle is where this is going to shine, in my opinion. Of course, we'll go ahead and get on to that. But first off, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about these awesome minifigures here going from left to right we have ron weasley hermione granger and harry potter the iconic trio from the harry potter series they are all in their really really nicely done ball gowns obviously fans of the films will definitely notice ron's outfit of the hand-me-down clothes right there hermione's pink outfit and pink dress which looks awesome we do also have harry potter in his sort of tuxedo which again is a very clean very simple minifigure it is also worth mentioning that all these guys come with dual-sided heads i'm not going to be showing them because they're all pretty standard but it is really cool to finally see these three minifigures in their ball outfits. I remember watching the Goblet of Fire when I was a kid and seeing the, the whole ball sequence. A really cool thing to see. So I'm really happy that we finally got many figures like that. Moving on to the other contestants here, we have Cedric Diggory. Again, very similar to the Harry Potter figure. Um, you can kind of only imagine they're both going to be kind of wearing their own suits and tuxedos. And since they're not from a faraway foreign land in Harry Potter lore, um, they're going to be wearing something pretty standard. No leg printing. And again, double face printing on the back and stuff like that. Up next here, we have the Floor Delacour minifigure. She is a very, very simple minifigure. And I got to say, I'm a little disappointed because she obviously does have the slope, but that's not actually why. All the other minifigures in this set who do have the slope dress piece have printing on their slope dress, and I was wondering why LEGO didn't do one for this, but nonetheless, her torso does come with a really cool necklace going across, and then some very standard printing on the back. Up next here, the final of the contestants, we have Victor Crumb, who is wearing a very, very noticeable outfit from the movies, which is great going for that movie accuracy. He's wearing his sort of fur coat with the fur stretching around the front of his torso and also looping around the back over his red outfit he does have normal black pants and of course like i said before all these minifigures do have a dual-sided face the last two minifigures here we're gonna have albus dumbledore and this is again one of those figures that i just said where they have slopes but they have printed parts and floor doesn't so i'm a little bit disappointed in that but that's besides the point the dumbledore minifigure looks great dumbledore and madame maxine are actually gonna look a little bit similar both gonna be wearing sort of pinkish color white color outfits here both of them have slopes however madame maxine's gonna have a two by two by three height slope because she is obviously extremely tall in the films but lego did a great job with the movie accuracy with these figures i i cannot be more happy with these figures and here's a picture of the printing on the back of these minifigures so the hogwarts clock tower is actually going to be my favorite set in terms of minifigures because we're all finally seeing these guys in their gown outfits for the ball which is absolutely fantastic but let's go ahead and jump on into the build now the hogwarts clock tower itself is mostly made up of a combination of regular tan and dark bluish gray pieces and most importantly i think lego did a great job recreating the very iconic aesthetic that the clock tower has I think one of the great things about this is you could probably put it right next to the older Hogwarts set and maybe the Whomping Willow, like you can combine them in the uh, previous wave, but even just sort of fluently go together, which is great. Now, now the architecture is definitely something worth noting here, obviously using a whole bunch of arches, slopes, and windows to recreate the iconic castle walls, sort of like a medieval style, which is definitely true. On the top here, we do have a clock tower, obviously, hence why the set is named the clock tower. And there's a really cool function in the interior, which I will show you guys as to how that kind of influences the front here towards the left side of the tower on the exterior you could see a little bit more details obviously lots of cylinders those are all stickers by the way you could probably tell by the uh, not great sticker placement on that guy right there but overall I think the set looks fantastic again putting it next to the older Hogwarts sets from maybe last year I think that would really go well so if any of you guys do eventually get the set and have the older ones let me know what it looks all together I think it would look really cool but that being said let's go ahead and actually jump to the back or interior of the castle where I think the set truly truly shines so we'll work top to bottom in the very top room here we have a little bit of a common room obviously one of the houses on either side there are beds a partition in the middle a nightstand stuff like that now what i was telling you about earlier before is this wheel right here you can spin this guy right in the back and then on the front 
you can see the clock move. So that's a really cool play feature, obviously, from LEGO. Moving towards down to the middle area or the second level here, we have Mad Eye Moody's classroom. On the very right, we have his desk, his pen and quill, a book, and a whole bunch of other sort of accessories on the back door here. Now, a really cool scene that many fans of the films will actually remember is going to have to be this little glass jar right here. If you guys remember who have seen Goblet of Fire, there is a scene where Moody actually takes Spider out of that glass jar and performs one of the verses on the spider, hence freaking out Neville. Um, that's definitely going to be a really cool callback to the actual films. And moving down to the very last row here is going to be one of the most bland, but also one of the most important parts of the set. On the left here, we just have a normal treasure chest, which I guess is okay. But on the right here, we do have the infamous Goblet of Fire, of course, with the blue flames stretching out on either side, which is going to be really, really cool. So if you wanted to reenact the scenes, you could totally put minifigures around there, maybe put a couple of people, Fred and George, throwing in their names into the goblet. But now moving on to the other sections here on the interior. On the top, we're going to have Dumbledore's office. On the very, very top, we have the infamous Sword of Gryffindor in a really, really nice interior. This here is going to be my favorite room in the entire set. It is worth noting that the stickers on the back of the Phoenix and the Sorting Hat are actually swapped. They're supposed to be in different spots, um, so I apologize for that. And on the front here, we have one of the most noticeable things in this room is going to be the Pensieve Bowl. Obviously, fans of the film will know what that is, which is really cool to see in Lego form. Obviously, we have Dumbledore's desk, his chair, and a couple other details, including stickers of bookshelves, stuff like that. And moving down below here, we just have a pretty normal standard fountain, but this is definitely setting up the sort of difference in scenery that we will be going to right now. And this is going to be the ballroom. I think that kind of goes without saying here. The things that Lego has included are going to be a really cool tree made up of some dark green wedges and stuff like that, which looks fantastic. And then we have a couple of custom tables that Lego has created created obviously with the icicles and the clear trans clear parts. Now in terms of playability with this specific area, there's going to be a rotatable platform. So for example, if you wanted to have Hermione and Victor Crumb dancing, you could totally do so and just turn the platform like this and all the minifigures would totally act like they're dancing and spinning around. But that's a really cool feature. So obviously if you eventually got some more minifigures, maybe from other sets and you want to include them, have them all dancing at the ball, it's to be fantastic. And then maybe to stay within consistency, you can have Harry and Ron looking for their dates maybe at this table. And then you could also have Dumbledore and Madame Maxine just doing their thing. That's gonna wrap up the Should You Buy for the Hogwarts Clock Tower. Again, this is gonna be retailing for $99 here in the US. It'll be available July 1st. However, if you are overseas, you'll already have access to the set. I'm absolutely in love with it. I think Harry Potter fans, this is a must have, especially for the minifigures. Like I said earlier in the video, the minifigures in this set are fantastic. It's the best lineup of minifigures in this entire wave. And I think that is definitely a big reason why people should buy it. Guys, let me know down in the comments what you're thinking of the set. Of course, drop a like on the video and I'll see y'all next time. Take it easy, fam. Peace.